Hey guys, today I want to try a new style of video. A while back there was this popular art trend where people would take their devices and set them to grayscale and then they would make pictures or characters using it. I did it um, when it was really popular, but I don't think I ever posted it. And I just saw somebody else I follow do it, so I wanted to try it again. Most people would use the color wheel for this challenge. And I tried it a few times, but it just felt too easy because maybe it was just me, but I could tell where each color was on the color wheel. So like, I would naturally just know like, oh yeah, this is the color I want. So I decided to go a different way I've seen people do it, where they take uh, the color website that generates the color palettes and just generate each color. So I didn't have to worry about like, oh yeah, I know where this color's at on the wheel. Looking at the colors I got for my first palette, I was kind of nervous because last two colors seemed so similar. And I wasn't really sure where I was going to put each color yet or even what I was designing, but I still jumped in and just started playing around with shapes. Um, you know, this is kind of a design that I wanted to do for a little while, but never really went through with it. So I finally got to use it. Um, you know, I played around and gave her makeup so she could have every color on her in some form. I decided she would look better with darker hair, so I used a medium tone for that. Um, I decided to save the darker tones for shading and then the line art, just because that's what I'm used to. Um, I also used a lighter skin tone so I could make her top the lightest, while also being able to give her eventual highlights. But because I felt like her hair was so plain, I gave her streaks. I should point out that I'm using a filter to show you what it looks like in my perspective. My phone doesn't record in grayscale, and it kind of messed up a lot of the lighter colors that will be shown. Um, there's eventual time where I will uh, have like polka dots on a character, and you will also see this little rim around them. It's odd, but it will look better in the end. Because I only had one dark enough tone that could really be used as a shade, I, went, I had to use it twice to really double shade it, and then I used the lighter shade to highlight her hair. I covered her in black so I could like slowly reveal it to myself, and I'll admit, I was surprised. I didn't think she was going to turn out as good, and she really did come out really well compared to what I thought she was going to look like. Um, I decided to name her April because I kept thinking about like the eclipse that's coming in April. So uh, yeah, there's that. No, it's just like, if it weren't for the pink on her face, I think this would be a great design. Even like the pink in the hair really works. I'm, I'm so happy she came out really good looking, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> this character, I was in the complete opposite color situation than what I was with uh, April. A lot of her colors ended up being much darker or medium tones. So I was also I was just kind of nervous about what I was gonna do because I was kind of anxious that she would end up looking like a person in the Bloomin' group. But yet, I think she turned out fine. I played around with her design a lot until um, the Bloomin' group thing actually made me realize she kind of looked like an elementary school teacher. And that just kind of seemed so funny that I was like, okay, I feel so much more confident in doing this now. For her design, I decided to give her one of the darker tones for skin and then darker hair color. Um, for her sweater, I wanted to give her, you know, a multicolor design. But while I was drawing it out, I could not help but look at it and go, that looks like a prison outfit. I don't know what she did to go to prison, but, you know, I think any elementary school kid would be happy to have a teacher that went to prison for a little while. Again, for shading, I used a darker tone. And I think this was actually one of the ones where I had another dark enough tone that I was able to use that instead of the, using the first dark tone as shading. Um, I didn't have a good enough color to do highlighting, so I attempted it on the hair, but I will admit it doesn't look great. And there she is. Um, I was so anxious with her and her being unnaturally colored that when I saw her and the way she actually looked, I was kind of happy because she kind of looks like a dragon in a fun way. And with that reason, I went and looked up fire-based names, and I decided to call her Nina. Um, but yeah, I think Nina turned out pretty okay. Out of all the designs so far, I would probably say she's my least favorite. Um, it just felt like the colors go together, but they also don't in a way. But yeah, I love her. She's a little cutie, and I really hope, you know, she teaches the dragons the alphabet at her elementary school. <laughs> Similar to Nina, I had a lot of fears going into making this character. I felt like the colors weren't really going to match in the end, and that um, it was kind of going to be an ugly design. But I still forced myself to go into it and really work on just having this pure blindness and making these characters. For all of my characters, I just kind of went in with no real design in mind and just kind of drew them out in different shapes and stuff that I could picture. That's really what was on focus here, as I was really basing him on how I draw Visley Joel. Um, all the way down to like his clothing, I just started throwing in random stuff because I wanted to be able to use all of these colors. For his hair, I almost gave him, like, really curly hair again, but I decided to cut back and just kind of give him this really magnificent glowing locks. No idea why, it just came out so good. I was kind of like, I cannot get rid of this. I just have to change the color, though, because for some reason I decided to do it in the lightest tone. Seeing the triangles on his shirt made me think about those really goofy bow ties, and I wanted to add it, but then I was like, oh, I don't know. So I decided to give him a um, shirt that was covered in circles, kind of like those bow ties, which made me start to think about Bill Nye the Science Guy, and I was like, oh yeah, this guy definitely seems like he would be a science teacher. Uh, very specifically, I think ICP teacher. Um, he'd be very good at telling dad jokes. So that kind of gives him some character background, I think. Um, also, very similar to what I did with Nina and April, I kind of gave him some facial details. No, I keep repeating that all of the designs scared me, but I will admit, I was pretty um, in the middle when it came to his design. Like, I knew it was not going to be bad, but I wasn't really certain it was going to be great. But I was completely shocked when I saw it. I think all of the colors went together really well, but very similar to the problem I had with April, the blush was just too much. I think, honestly, if I toned down the pink some, it would work really well as a character design. And it actually made me want to keep him around, so I might add him into my own story. Like all of the characters, I also gave him a name. His name is Fleck. He was named after my earth science teacher that I had last year. Just because, you know, as I was subscribing um, him as his goofy teacher, I was sitting there and I just kind of could not stop thinking about this man. And I was like, you know what? I should name a character after him. He was a really good teacher. So that's it for the designing of the characters. If I had to rank them, I would probably say April and then Fleck and then Nina. No hate to Nina. It's just I don't think her colors went together as well as I wanted them to. But in the end, I all 
I just wholeheartedly loved doing this and I want to do it again but I want to hear what you guys think and what you guys want to see next because I'm always looking for more video ideas maybe I'll uh, do a full body character next time thank you for watching I love you all and I'll see you guys again real soon